COPD hypoxia causes and symptoms chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD is a name for several conditions that affect breathing including chronic bronchitis and emphysema hypoxia is one of the most harmful effects of COPD when not enough oxygen moves around the body impacting organ function COPD occurs when obstructions block the flow of air through the lungs over time inflammation and damage in the lungs become progressively worse according to the centers for disease control and prevention around 16 million people in the united states have COPD millions more people have undiagnosed COPD and are not receiving treatment in this video we explain the effects of hypoxia due to COPD what causes it and the symptoms causes the lung damage that occurs with COPD can cause hypoxia if it becomes too severe COPD can have harmful effects on the body when it interferes with oxygen levels if hypoxia progresses too far it can lead to disability and death oxygen passes into the blood from lung tissue through the alveoli or air sacs oxygenated blood then leaves the lungs and travels around the body to other tissues vital organs and systems especially the brain and heart need enough oxygen to survive COPD damages the air sacs in the lungs and interferes with this process if the damage reaches a critical point a person may develop hypoxia hypoxia occurs when the blood does not deliver enough oxygen to the air sacs in the lungs a person's body can adapt to cope with lower oxygen levels than are usual however in people with COPD hypoxia in the lungs means oxygen levels become extremely low when oxygen levels reach so low a level the organs in the body do not get enough oxygen and start to develop damage and injury this is known as hypox hypoxemia symptoms people with COPD related hypoxia may experience the following symptoms breathlessness difficulties trying to catch their breath frequent coughing a choking sensation due to shortness of breath less ability to tolerate physical activity rapid breathing waking up in the night being unable to catch a breath complications hypoxia and hypoxemia can also lead to other conditions including neurocognitive dysfunction hypoxia can cause injury to the brain and nerve cells it may trigger changes in brain function and thought processes if COPD brings down brain oxygen levels too much it can also reduce the number of neurotransmitters that, that the brain creates neurotransmitters are chemical messengers that ensure different parts of the brain and nervous system can communicate with each other sufficient oxygen is essential for creating these neurotransmitters and making sure they function correctly pulmonary hypertension typically the right side of the heart pumps low oxygen blood to the lungs once it reaches the lungs blood can pick up oxygen from inhaled air the oxygenated blood then returns to the left side of the heart which pumps it throughout the body a person with COPD can experience inflammation in the arteries that transfer blood from the right side of the heart to the 
lungs. This inflammation can cause high pressure to develop in these arteries, which is also known as pulmonary hypertension. This heart pressure means that the right side of the heart has to work harder to pump blood through those arteries. This can cause damage to the heart making it weak. Secondary Polycythemia Secondary polycythemia is a body's response to chronic hypoxia due to COPD. The body starts creating extra red blood cells to transport more oxygen. Extra blood cells mean that the blood is more prone to clotting. In people with have COPD, this condition can also increase the risk of abnormal heart rhythms longer hospital stays and more breathing complications. Skeletal muscle dysfunction People whose COPD has reached a more advanced stage can have difficulty engaging in physical exercise and activity. As a result, their muscles start to become weaker. The weakened muscles are more easily fatigued, making it even harder for a person with COPD to exercise. Systemic Inflammation A chronic lack of oxygen can cause inflammation in the body's tissues which can lead to several conditions. Examples include atherosclerosis which makes the arteries harden. Atherosclerosis increases the risk of heart disease, heart attack and stroke. COPD is a progressive condition which means it gets worse over time. The airflow difficulties of COPD are irreversible even after treatment. This is specially this is especially true if smoking was a key factor in a person developing COPD and they continue to smoke. Several key factors affect the outlook for a person with COPD including age, body mass index or BMI, how often they experience COPD flares, level of breathlessness after physical activity, degree of hypoxemia, pulmonary artery pressures, results of a pulmonary function test, resting heart rate, smoking status, other health conditions unrelated to the lungs. While COPD is a progressive condition, some people have more stable COPD and can live for a long time with the condition. The best outcomes are relate, related to regular follow-up follow with doctors, closely following the prescribed course of medication and living a healthful lifestyle.